Yeah, so far so good really. I mean, um, bear in mind we didn't have a nut or bolt about four and a half months ago. Um, BYU's the Kawasaki team's going pretty well to be fair. It's a tough championship this year and every year at Ivor Road I've always said it's a tough championship. But I think if you take the sort of top three, top four guys that you'd always assume will be at the front, um, outside that it's a, it's a big strong depth of field, you know. Um, you've got a long young talent coming into the championship this year you've got champions from maybe super sport or super stock so and it's nice to see that to be fair from my point of view you know it's nice to see young talent coming up through and um, spicing up the british superbike championship you know that's what it's about it's um, the sport is, is political in its ways and some riders have to find money to come into teams but it's nice that we've given opportunity for danny booker as well to come in and we've got chris walker as well old but gold and he's still flying the flag you know he knows what he wants he's got a lot of experience and um it's, uh, it's good working with both two different riders, so uh, yeah, it's exciting times. I just want to try and have two strong, consistent results, you know, we're not looking for podiums or race wins, so we're looking at it realistic, you know, and um, we're behind the guys every step of the way, and um, you know, for us to come away with maybe a top six and a top ten race one, I'll be happy. Yeah, really good, it's nice working with Tommy, and back on a Kawasaki again, it's, the recipe is similar, but obviously the bike does feel a bit different, and it's taken a little while to get, to get used to the chain suspension and bits and bobs, but the team's working really well. And uh, here we are, first round. Uh, Danny Bucket, yeah, he's great. We, we've known each other from the past. We were teammates a couple of years ago when he, I think his second attempt at Superbikes in, in 13. And uh, he's a real good lad. He's definitely, you know, one of the biggest rising stars we've got racing in the UK at the moment, without a doubt. And uh, he's, he's a lot of fun to be around. It's been a struggle till now, which is a shame. We, uh, we didn't have a great test at the, at the BSB official test. The bike wasn't playing ball all day. We had a load of electrical glitches and, and demons there, so it didn't run properly. It, was, it wasn't a lot different on here uh, here on Saturday, and then yesterday suddenly we turned the corner and the bike was the bike was great. But we were coming from four seconds off and doing one minute thirty fours, whereas last year we were doing one minute thirty. So managed to get back into the thirties yesterday, but left myself a lot to do. Sixteenth in qualifying, tenth uh, in morning warm up this morning. So fingers crossed we can carry that momentum on and you know and get a bit further up in the races. You never really know what it's going to be like for somebody to do a, a different type of role, and he's been exceptionally professional, really friendly. And you know, and most welcoming, you know, really are. So uh, I'm enjoying working with him. Really, I've got nothing but good things to say about him. And to be honest, the general feeling in the team, everybody, everybody loves what he's doing. And uh, and Alan Gregg, you know, behind the scenes as well, the guy that started to put it all together and talk Tommy into coming and fronting it for him. Yeah, the, the pair of them have done an immense amount of work behind the scenes over the winter. And I think you can see when you look around the garage and the bikes, that it's absolutely stunning. So uh, no fair play to them. We've got a bit of work to do on track to make the bikes competitive every round, all brand new, of course. But Danny's flying. I'm I'm getting there, so no, happy days. James Ellison, super confident alongside him. Shaky burn on the left-hand side of the picture, not quite as quick out of the blocks as they all hit the gas and light it up down into Redgate. And I was completely wrong about Shaky. He's crept through on the inside, Ooh. and it's Kian Ari. Who was that? who steamrolled on his way through to the front. So Buchan, the reigning Superstop champion, running in fifth place in the black and yellow of B.Y.'s at Kawasaki. Danny Buchan, Danny Buchan. six foot three inch on a, a, He makes a move on a man virtually a foot shorter than him, Scotsman <laughs> Stuart Easton. That's not fair. That's Speak. David and Goliath. <laughs> There's the B.Y.'s at Kawasaki team boss. Oh, big eyes out of the S's, and he's, yeah. Oh, dear, Danny. Well, it looks like he's rolled and bounced quite well. Yeah. Made a mess of those lovely levers, mate. Fast laps on. Look at these guys. So there's number nine, Chris Walker. There's 47, Richard Cooper, just ahead of number seven, MotoGP rider for PBM last year, Michael Laverty, uh, making his uh, very happy return to the paddock. Chris Walker down there in eighth, and then you look who's behind him and you think, yeah, he does deserve to it, even though we keep saying, well, it could be his last year, he's now 90 years old, but he <laughs> does, he deserves his place here, there he is. Hey, look at this. Oh, oh, Chris oh, Walker, Chris Walker dishes he it looked... back to Michael Laverty, runs a bit wide at the bottom, but... Laverty goes around the outside of him, Walker won't let him through, cuts it across the kerb, and determinedly <laughs> hangs on to ninth place, to eighth place. Walker crosses the line, just ahead of Laverty and Cooper. The hole at the front is where James Ellison should have been, but he's going to have to start from the back. He's going to have to be as aggressive as he was off the start in the first race. As the lights go out, Shaky Burn gets clean away at the front. Kianari gets a good start. Look at this. 
this uh, this battle going on. Danny Buchan is in there. Uh, Buchan, uh, Billy McConnell. Danny Buchan's gone down there. He lost the front going into Goddard's. Oh, two DNFs for the B Wiser Kawasaki after two terrific rides. Shaky, after his second place in the race one, is going to go one better in race two. The reigning champion will take yet another race win in British Superbikes. Linfoot, a splendid second. O'Halloran snatched back 11th place behind Chris Walker.